You cursed. You cursed. You cursed. Huh? You cursed. I'm not cursed. You cursed. You cursed. You ain't gonna be nothing. You're gonna be just like your dad. You're gonna be just like your You cursed. I'm doing a video, baby. You wanna come get in with me? Why do we keep saying this stuff, y'all? Mm. I ain't saying me in particular. People disagree with me when I say that. That I'm not cursed. My Savior got on the cross and freed me up. It's not live, but it's a video. You want to come get in it? Oh, shit. Yeah. My baby says she's going to come join me. We had this conversation when we was riding earlier. We was talking about her daddy, which he's deceased. May the most I rest his soul. I said, Didi, how did you, how you, why we ain't like most people speak and say y'all cursed? What was your answer, Didi? I said, I ain't cursed. She said she ain't cursed. Mm -mm. And you can, it's, it's something Brother Rodney said a long time ago. He said you can choose to live in the curse. Mm -hmm. I caught that. Because I ain't no drunk. I ain't running women. I don't have kids over her, kids over there. I don't have those habits. And if I was cursed, I would be like that. But what is it? What is it in me and in you that make us go against what they say we was cursed on? Family quick to say, "Man, you cursed, generation not generation." What did they say about him getting on the cross? Hmm. And when you study, they was cursed up to the what third or fourth generation, and then the same that same Bible you reading said, "You are no longer living under that curse." You know, a son got to be responsible for his own actions and sins. The dad is no longer. It shows you that in the Bible, but people take that and still say, we curse. Hmm. And I agree with P.P. Jones when he say, you can choose to live in the curse. It's just a little friendly conversation. I know some people ain't going to understand it or agree with it, but... I was talking to my wife. She's sitting over there looking all cute. And I was saying, because she, she have no problem talking about her dad. She said, had me laughing when I was driving. He said, hell, he did. I said, damn. <laughs> she got a sense of humor, y'all, I'm telling you. But Ernest, Ernest was, was DD's, and he was locked up, what, half, majority, majority of her life in the penitentiary. And then, you know, people always say your children, a lot of your children will follow down the same footsteps you went in. But the Holy Spirit won't allow you. Now, if you got the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit had you live against that drunkenness, that selling dope, that hoeing around, that what else, that, that abandoning your children. The Holy Spirit will will chastise you in so many ways. She's supposed to have been doing this video with me, but she left me hanging. I'm printing this for your mama. <laughs> I know. I got you, I got you. Yeah. you ask me something, I answer. They might want to see your face. Okay, what do you mean? But now nah, we just wanted to share this with y'all while we were sitting there having a conversation. While the key is gone, it's quiet. You can hear. We can hear each other think without fussing at these kids. But I just wanted to do this little short video also to encourage somebody and let you know. You take those examples. If you had bad parents, you take those examples of what they was bad and you learn from it and live better than that. Be better than what they was. I don't care if your daddy wasn't around, he was a drunk, or your mama wasn't around, whatever it was. You take it and you learn from that. And you be a better parent. Because stop walking around here talking about you curse. Stop walking around here like you're a victim and walk around here like you're the victory. Because who we serve never lost not one battle. 
And I leave you with that. Shalom.